Hi. Um, I usually don't make videos like this on my channel, but I had made a day in a life video about me going to the Los Angeles Film School and I've had a lot of comments on that video. So I thought, why not make a video addressing everything you should know about the Los Angeles Film School? I know when I was just starting out there, I really wanted to ask one of the students there what it was like, but I had so many questions and I didn't want to like steal all their time. So. I'm just gonna make a video and put it all in here. I'm currently getting my bachelor's degree and the science of film is what it's called, even though it's it's just directing and film. <laughs> it's nothing to do with science. Let's, let's just get into it, because there is a lot. I have made a list, by the way, and I have numbered them down below so you can go to the exact timestamp that you wanna go to. I have it all in my notes on my phone, so if I'm looking down on my phone, that is why. First things first is what programs they have at the Los Angeles Film School. If you're going to the on-campus school, there's the film program, but within the film program, there's also cinematography that you can take as your major, which has different classes than taking directing for your major so personally I'm doing directing as my major and one of my good friends is taking cinematography but we have both taken directing one and two and cinematography one and two just to get the basics down there's also the animation classes now the animation kids do not like combine with any of the film students in their classes except for the general ed which I'll talk more about later in this video. And then there's music production and their general ed classes are also at the Los Angeles Film School campus but their main campus is actually down the street at the Los Angeles Recording School which is a whole different campus. I don't know why the music program is in a different building compared to all the other programs but it just is. And then we also have the entertainment business. Honestly I don't know much about the other courses because I've never taken them. I'm not in the entertainment business. I'm in film, so I'm just going to be going over mostly film, but I just wanted to let you guys know what they have to offer. Now, I'm going to let you guys know what degrees you can get. You can get your associate's degree or you can get your bachelor's degree. Usually at a regular college, it will take about four years for you to get your bachelor's degree. But since the school is year round, I'm getting my bachelor's degree within three years. Now, you're probably wondering, if the school's year round, then how much time are you getting off? Let's go over that. Your summer break is literally a week. Your summer break starts, I'm pretty sure, on the 4th of July, and then from then on, you get that week off. Then your next break will be winter break. Your winter break's your longest break. It starts around Thanksgiving and it ends around New Year's. And then you also get spring break. I'm pretty sure spring break's like a week off, right? And then you get the general days off for Memorial Day and, you know, so forth. So those are your breaks. <laughs> use them wisely. <laughs> Next, we're going over how many classes you'll be taking. So the way this school works, which is like so different compared to every school, is that we have one class per month. Each month you get a new class. You will have it maybe two or three times a week. And literally every week will change as well. So maybe you have that one class, you'll have it three times that week. Maybe the next week you'll have it twice. Maybe the next week you'll have it four times. It varies all the time. And I've had a month where it changed legit every single week. And I've also had months where it was consistent every single week, the exact same times, exact same schedule, exact same days as well. Or sometimes, rarely, it'll be consistent every week and then one day will be completely different just because it's like the final or something like that. But yeah, I don't know exactly why it's like that. I think it's just like they want you to learn the steps one by one and I think that is helpful. Also, I've heard that the teachers get to choose their schedule so it fits in with them. Some of the teachers live far away, for example, and so they make the class later in the day, but some teachers who also live far away make it earlier in the day. I've had it both ways, so I don't know what to tell you. A lot of the classes I have had do start at like 8.30, but sometimes they start at 12.30 or even four o'clock and then end at eight o'clock. Like it really varies. Like it's all over the place every month, every week. Also, when the classes are from let's say 8.30 all the way till four o'clock, in the afternoon, you get an hour break in the middle and 15 minute breaks within each class as well. You will always have a 15 minute break in each one of your classes, no matter what. Also, you will not be getting your schedule until the end of each month. So it's really hard to know what your next schedule will be. You, there's no possible way to know your schedule 
two months from now. So if you're planning a trip or your job needs to know ahead of time what your schedule's like, that is difficult. But that is for the film program. I don't know if it's the same for the audio and music program, but I'm pretty sure it would be. Like, I don't see why it wouldn't be the same. Until you get to your second year, you then can take two classes, but it most likely will be one class on campus and one class online. And if you are taking two classes, they most likely will give you a class that doesn't have on-campus classes often in the week. So it'll be like two or three days that you go to class on campus and two to three days that you go to class online. Now I want to go over what classes you'll be taking. This was a big question of mine when I was starting out at this school because I really didn't know what classes they had to offer. So I was put into new classes all the time and I was like, whoa, they have this? So let's go over that. Here are the classes you'll be taking if you're in the film program and I added some of the other ones as well. I'm reading off my list, so bear with me here. The classes that involve film are film history. That will most likely be your first class you'll take there to kind of like test you if you really are into it. Directing one, two, and three. But of course you take directing one the first year, directing two the second year, and then directing three the, the third year if you're in your bachelor's program. Cinematography one, two, and three, but that's only if you're in the cinematography program. And same with directing. If you're in the directing program, those are the classes you're gonna be having. But like I said before, you will be taking both cinematography one and two for the directing and cinematography program. And then there's production design one and two, there's audio design one and two, screenwriting one, two, and three, script development one and two, creative producing one, two, and three, documentary filmmaking one and two, transmedia storytelling and transmedia one and two, and post-production one, two, and three. Some classes I forgot to mention in this video are digital editing one and two. And for that class, you get to learn the Avid software and acting for a filmmaker. Also two G&E classes. Now I'm gonna tell you guys some classes that involve your GED as well. They're not film classes, but they're still like easy and fun to take. And you will be also mixed in with the business entertainment students, the audio production students, and the illustration students who are all very cool. So it's it's fun to mix it up and get to know them as well. These classes involve the poetry class. There's a class on presentation. You'll take four or five art classes, which I personally recommend taking online because they're easy online and on campus, but might as well take it online because then you get to stay in bed. But that's just my personal preference. And then there's also two math classes if you haven't already taken them. The first one I'm pretty sure is just algebra. I forget because it was my first year. And then the second one is statistics. And even though the statistics class has kids from the illustration program and the audio program, you are still doing projects on film in the statistics class. So I thought that was pretty cool. And if you're in the film program, you'll be getting your English credits from the screenwriting courses. And that's all for that one. Now we are gonna go over housing. So there is no campus housing. Let's make that clear. The campus is basically two buildings, but they can help you find a roommate. Personally, I did not go through this process to find my roommate, but I know a few other students who have, and they click really well with their roommates. So it seemed like it really worked for them. I don't really know how that goes, but it worked out for them. I've hung out with them and their roommates who also go to the school and they have like the same schedule, the same programs. They started at the same time. So it seems like a good fit. So I would recommend that more than finding a random roommate. I wanna go over the software. If you're in the illustration program, you'll be receiving a completely different set of software than the film program and the audio production program. But if you are in the film program, you will be receiving a computer along with a lot of dongles and a set of headphones, which are all very nice and up to date, by the way. You'll also be receiving all of the Adobe software, which is amazing to have, super helpful because I personally love to edit on Premiere. Also, I just wanted to add in that the only classes you'll be taking that involve the Adobe software are the post-production classes and you'll be learning how to use Lightroom and Photoshop. You don't have any classes on the other Adobe softwares, but they still come on your computer as well. And I've heard from one of the teachers that we actually get to keep it for life. I don't know if that's for real. If it is, then I'm so for it. That sounds amazing. You also get Avid, Movie Magic, and you get SketchUp, and you also get to learn how to use SketchUp in your production design classes. You get Pro Tools. You also receive Final Draft for your screenwriting classes, and you get to learn how to use Final Draft, which is extremely useful. 
Okay, sorry, my camera died and I'm now filming on my phone and I'll be looking at my notes on my laptop. So if I'm looking down, then I'm looking at my computer. By the way, this is the computer that you get from the Los Angeles Film School and it's like touchscreen on this part. I don't know what model it is, but it's pretty cool and up to date. I was saying that it's super important to learn how to use the software that they give you for the school because it is industry standard. This is what I've learned and everyone knows Avid in the film industry. I feel like recently a lot of people have been leaning more towards Premiere Pro. For example, MTV show Catfish. I met the editor of that show. He came to our school and talked to us and he said that he uses Premiere Pro and that everyone uses Premiere Pro there. So. That gives me hope because I really don't like using Avid for editing. So yeah, that is my only thing. When I first went there, I really wanted to learn more about editing, but they do not have any classes on Premiere Pro. They only have editing classes on the industry standard editing software, but thankfully they do give you Premiere Pro and you have it for life is what I've been told. Next, we're talking about the sets and the equipment they have at the school. There's six sets. I believe at the school, there is one legitimate sound stage and the other ones are just sets, but they are like soundproofed and all that. They recently have redone the sets this year. So I'll show you the photo of what one of them used to look like. And here's what it looks like now. Wow. Thank you, Barbara Dumfrey and I can't think of his name, but <laughs> the other production assistant. His name's Richard and teachers who helped out with that. You can rent out the sets if you are a student or an alumni. You can rent them out for about, I think it's $100 per hour because you have to pay one of the teachers to be there on the sets because it is their day off and you absolutely need a teacher to be there. If you wanna go through that, if you are a student or an alumni and you, you didn't know about this, maybe you should contact Jay Zabriskie or Charlie Kanganis to rent out one of the sets and then you get to choose the teacher you would like to be there on set. Now for the equipment, I've only rented out equipment twice because I am not into cinematography and I also do not consider myself as a camera operator. So if you wanna rent out a camera, you absolutely have to know how to set it up. You also have to be done with Cine One to rent out a certain camera. And then you have to go through the second cinematography class in order to rent out the next step of a nicer camera and the third cinematography class to rent out the best one. I don't, I really don't know the cameras, so it's just not my department. But that's how it is at our school. And you have to set it up and build it in front of the equipment teachers there that day. And when you return it, you have to set it up again to show them that you still know how to do it and that you didn't lose any of the pieces. Also, when you rent out the equipment, it comes with a small lighting kit for you to light stuff. I think you don't get that till cinematography too though. Now I'm gonna go over some perks that they have at this school. I don't know why, they have like random days where they'll celebrate free popsicle day or free donut day random but I personally love it they also celebrate once a year their anniversary and they have food trucks come like in and out it's just fun you know you get a free burger and like free sunglasses and a lanyard so it, they have like fun perks like that also once a month they have a screening of a film that usually hasn't came out yet and someone who worked on that film will come and do a Q&A and you get to go to these screenings for free if you're a student there or an alumni as well, I believe. Last but not least, is it worth it? If you are like me, where you are passionate about film, you've known this is your passion, you know you wanna know more about this, then I'd say yes. I do not recommend you going into this school without knowing anything about film. There are a few people who did that, and I just like, I just feel bad for them and embarrassed that they don't know these things already. There is so much you will learn, but for the other students, they're not gonna sound as passionate as they are and they're gonna feel like, like no offense, but I don't wanna work with people who don't know what they're talking about and you're just learning all this right now. That's kind of embarrassing. Go take a course before you spend all your money on this school is what I'm saying too, because some people, they end up going to the film school thinking that's what they want to do and then they're like, oh, I didn't even know that this was film or like this involved film, but 
I'm just gonna be real. But overall, I'd say yes. This school is definitely worth going to, especially if you're not able to go straight into a four-year college. Plus, you take all your classes that involve film, so you're doing exactly what you wanna do. You don't take this extra philosophy class, or I don't even know what people take in regular colleges, but if you wanna do film and this is your passion, I say do it go right into what you want to do. So no, I don't know everything about this school, but this is what I do know. And I used to have a lot of questions about it. And this is what has been answered for me. And I'm now answering it for you because I am aware that the, the website for the Los Angeles Film School really doesn't have much information on it. So <laughs> here it is. I really hope I told you guys everything I wanted to tell you. I. I really hope I didn't forget anything. I know there was a lot. Hopefully this was helpful. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I hope, I hope you enjoy the Los Angeles Film School. If you guys do have more questions, I'll probably make a more updated version of this video, but this is what I know so far. Okay, I'm gonna go.